Hello you all, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my home. We are finally getting some decorating done for the holiday season, but I was a little lacking in motivation, so I decided to start with my little, and I do mean little, Christmas tree. So let's get some music playing and get this party started. If you're new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. My name is Jay, I live in Maryland, I own this home, and here on my channel I try and post lots of cleaning motivation, some home decor, and some home projects. So I hope you like this video, I hope you'll stick around. And if you wanna see more cleaning, although we do clean at the end of this video, go ahead and check out my playlist. I have all the videos I've made cleaning up my old house, and I know that you'll just love them. So I got this tree from Walmart and I feel like every year I pull it out, I say, wow, this tree is kind of small, I need a bigger one. But then I never buy a bigger one and the next year it's like Groundhog Day. Wow, this tree is so small. But I was going for more of a red theme this year in the living room, but the tree already had these ornaments on it. So I just, I pretty much left it how it is. I did like zhuzh it up a little bit and I pulled off the silver ribbon. So I think in the final walkthrough you won't see that, but I just left all the gold and white ornaments on and I have not put any ribbon on the tree. It's, it's a few years old now, so you know, some of the lights in some areas don't work, but I'm satisfied with it and it is perfectly acceptable to me, but it ain't perfect. I do go back to the mantle a few times. I had that one garland on there and then I I put it with a different garland and then they fell off and I was afraid that they were gonna pull my TV down. So I went back to the first garland. So that is a work in progress and it kind of gave me a little bit of, it was a headache. So I moved on to this table and I am pulling out my million candle holders that I have. And I'm also switching out my wax warmer for this Christmas one that is a chalkboard and you can write like how many days left until Christmas.
If you've been here before, you'll have seen this cabinet, but I usually have it flat up against the left wall, but I moved it like catty corner so that it was uh, facing the couch, pushed up against the corner, and I'm just putting all these little glass houses in there to be like a little Christmas village, and I do come back to this a couple times as well, and I don't think I show me creating what will be the final project, but it does go if through a few iterations before I kind of get it to a spot where I really like it. I was also just working with the decor that I had because at some point I had to stop buying stuff and just get to the decorating. I had a lot more fun buying things because I'm a shopaholic, but I was like, just use what you have and then I'll fill in any gaps. And like, for example, I went and I bought more lights to kind of make it look a little bit better under the like faux snow blanket. So I did go ahead and pick up a little things to enhance it later. And here are those battery operated birthday candles I got from Target in these candlesticks. And here are all my little Santas. If you've been here, you know I love me a good black Santa. And I was go putting them in the cabinet and they actually didn't fit, which was annoying. So I had to go and get my drill and move the shelf down. Because this is a really heavy duty piece, you have to like screw the the fixtures that go in the holes on the side, they're actually screwed into the bottom of each shelf. So I just went ahead and fixed that. And then this is the second garland that I couldn't get to stay up on the mantle. So I used pipe cleaners and attached bells and then I put it over this cabinet. So I purchased this absolutely ridiculous train candle luminary from Bath and Body Works. I just, it was more of a collector's piece, but it is so heavy and it really doesn't fit with anything that I have, but I wanted it and I knew I would regret if I didn't buy it because I'm really into candles, hence my name, Jay Scented Home. If you're also into candles, go check me out on Instagram. This past weekend, it's currently Sunday, was Candle Day at Bath and Body Works and I spent all of my December spending money. So Merry Christmas to me early, but I had to fit somewhere, find somewhere to put this train. So I moved it into here and I put a little tea light in the back, but I do think I wanna get maybe a bigger uh, tea light to put in the back of the train. And I did end up putting some lights under this shelf as well, under the little snow. Moving on to the last little area that I wanted to decorate, I first started with switching out my wax warmer over here as well. I got this new Christmas tree warmer, definitely a splurge buy. And as soon as I took it out the box and I was looking at it, I was like, you know, 
I don't want this. So I put it back in the box and I took it back to Walmart. And then I was looking in my little bin of warmers to see if I had anything else that was festive, but I just decided to put my old white wax warmer back. So once that was back in its place, I just went ahead and kind of organized all these decorative objects. I do think I could do more with this space. And this is another part where it looks a little different at the very, very end, but I'm not sure what to do here. Maybe a garland. I do have extra garland, but that flocked stuff is like driving me nuts. <laughs> but I do have a plain green lit one. So let me know what you think. Maybe a garland on this table, even though holiday decorating is really just about putting out I think pretty things to look at and that's what I did end up doing but it could use like a, something a little bit different. I'm not sure what though. Now that we're all done with that, here's the part that a lot of people don't show, the aftermath. Just little bits of wood from the wood wreath I hung up, ribbon, a hammer, my drill, my battery box, pieces of paper, so many pieces of flocking, and they kept clogging up my vacuum. <laughs> I did like a, a quick spot vacuum at the end and I had to empty the canister twice and I didn't even really vacuum the whole room, just spots where it was really bad, but that the flocking from the tree was just, it was all of everything. So we had to take some time and get this room reset as much as I could this night. If you notice my outfit change, it was because I I started at when I finished my work day and then I went to the gym. I've been going to the gym three times a week. I just started two weeks ago, but I just paid for the next eight weeks. So we will be going for at least eight more weeks, which I'm happy about, but I was tired and hungry, but we had some cleaning to do. I hope that you all are having whatever kind of season you want. If you really want to indulge in the holidays and decorate and feast and see family and friends and buy gifts and do all the things, I hope you're doing that. If you just want to chill out, enjoy some time off from work on the horizon and just maybe enjoy a little bit of treats and the festivities, but not too much. I hope you're doing that as well. You know, the holiday season is not for everybody. It's not my favorite time of year. So I just hope that whatever your wishes are, that they're coming true.